Banana, what you got going on over here? Do you got a new dinkus? Got a new dinkus, trinket. It. It's one of them spinny snail thingies. Oh, jeepers. So what are we looking at here? What is this thing? It's a Borg Warner 8374. Okay, is that it? It's a Turblon kit. Um, he hooked it up kind of last minute for me. So it's a hand-built manifold and dual 40 mil. Hand-built manifold. Yeah. Let's look over here. Let's try to get a angle of this manifold. Hard to see. Real cramped down here. Dual 40 mil turbo smart wastegates. I'm just running wastegate pressure on ED5 right now because driving it around before I finish up the have the tune finished up. Hoping I can get on the dyno. We'll see. Maybe in a couple days it'll be on a dyno. But is this why we didn't have any engine bay shots in that last swag edit? Yeah, I had the BNR on it still for the for the dumb music edit. <laughs> Everybody hates. Okay, so how much power is this thing gonna make now? Well, I'm only gonna run wastegate pressure for now. Uh, that's gonna be, I mean, if I had to guess on 10-ish PSI, it's probably around 340, 350 wheel. Uh, and torque will be pretty impressive, at least torque band. It'll be in the threes somewhere, hopefully. Maybe eventually we'll set it up so it runs higher boost in the mid range at least and make more torque. And okay. Let's we'll see how much horsepower it makes stationary just idling. Uh, start it? Yeah. It might start. I hope it does. Still figuring out E85 starting map, so. Probably how you max out a mic, huh? Yeah, probably. I don't know, we'll see. Fix all the ricer noises for everyone. Well, are we supposed to go for a ride in this thing now, or what? Well, yeah, that's kind of what we were going to do. All right. Sorry about the mess, it's all fucking dirty. I've been working on it. Looks good. I don't know. It's it gets used. So shit's bound to get dirty if it's getting used, right? Well you Elator fanboys, you should have seen your boy Jim here trying to hop in this motherfucker. <laughs> this thing's not easy to get in. Oh. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
But that's okay. We'll we'll live. The only is it, what do they what do the kids say? Yolo. I think they stopped saying that a long time ago. Well, I'm I'm kind of behind. But yeah, the the map was all screwy up about 5,500 RPM on E, so I can only run it that high until I have uh, Daniel Kuhn is going to tune it. Sorry, my car is loud. I'm kind of yelling. turbo just wakes the fuck up. It's like the only time I've ever experienced increasing the size of the turbo and gaining spool time. Like it spools faster and it's a much bigger turbo. It doesn't, it's blowing my mind right now. All right, you better hold on. I'm, gonna I'm old. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of fucky there. You can tell it broke up a little bit because of the way the fuel map is right now, but that will get cleaned up. Uh, Daniel's gonna do a remote team viewer tune uh, just to finish it up because he was able to get it mostly good on the dyno a couple weeks ago. So. Just clean up the fuel map for the new turbo and we should be ready to rip. You can tell it's it's ready to fucking scream. I just gotta back out of it early, but <laughs> It's so hot out here, my camera's starting to overheat now. Oh yeah, your balls are probably pretty sweaty there too. Oh yeah. Look at that midlife crisis mobile there, holy shit. They're taking over for Corvettes, you know, them things. <laughs> they are. Little old across Wisconsin, you see like five of them and it's like, what the fuck? But yeah, I guess that was a short ride and the 